Hello, this is Chris, and welcome to lesson three of how to make iPhone apps with no programming experience. So in this lesson, we're going to walk through, do a little tutorial of Xcode, the program which you will be spending a lot of time in to build apps. We're going through Xcode 6, which is the latest version, and every year or two, Apple rolls out a new version, but not. Uh, the changes, there are changes between the different versions, but it's not so drastic that you'll have to learn everything anew. It's kind of like uh, how Adobe rolls out new versions of Photoshop, and each iteration has new features and stuff like that, but at the core, the core product is still there, and you know, if you know how to use one version, you'll be pretty well versed in the next version. So in this video, we're going to go through the major sections of the Xcode interface that you'll be using the most. And so that will set you up kind of for that core functionality that you can leverage for any version of Xcode. We're going to start by creating a new Xcode project. And I'm not going to touch in too much detail all of the different project types or settings. Uh, in this video, in the next one, we will actually create a new project and we'll go through the settings. But for this one, I just kind of want to whip up a new project. I picked single view application there. I'm just going to, because the main point is I want to get to the interface so I can show you guys the different sections of the program. This is your project properties, but we'll go into that in the next video. So the first thing you'll notice on the left hand side, you can see that it's split up into kind of three distinct sections. So you have this left pane over here, you have this big middle section, then you have another column on the right hand side, and then you have this gray strip across the top with some buttons and a status. Let's go over the left hand side first because this is where your project file navigator is. When you create a new app project, it consists of a whole bunch of folders and files. And so this is where you can uh, look at the various files of your project. Not only that though, this paint actually has a couple of different tabs which you won't need to know right now. By far, on this side of the screen, you'll be looking at your file navigator. When you click on a file, let's say this viewcontroller.swift, the middle section changes, and this is the code editor section. Actually, depending on what kind of file you select, if it's a code file, you're going to see your lines of code here, and you're going to be able to write your code and edit your code here. If you're selecting, however, one of these interface files, this area changes into interface builder, and you're going to be working visually to build your interface. Okay, so what about this right hand side over here? So let's go back to a code file, viewcontroller.swift, and you can see here on the rightmost pane, there's a couple of tabs as well, and this is called the inspector pane. So here it gives you details about the file that you have highlighted or the file that you're currently looking at. The inspector pane is actually split into two different panes, one taking up probably 75% at the top. This is the inspector pane. The bottom is called the library pane. And again, this has a couple of tabs. So just going back to the storyboard file, you can see that on the library pane down here, it shows me a bunch of different elements that I can add to my interface. So You'll see in the, in the next video when we're building our interface, we're literally dragging and dropping elements from there. And if we select an element, so let's do, let's do a quick, I'll show you. You're gonna drag a button on here, and then when you tap on this, and you look on the right hand side here, you flip to the appropriate tab, the attributes tab, you're gonna be looking at all the attributes for your button. So that's what this, right hand pane is useful for as well. When you're in a code file, so let's go back to viewcontroller.swift, there's actually a hidden section down here. Let's see if we can just bring it up. We'll go to view, debug area, show debug area. And that's essentially what this part is called. It's called the debug area, which we will get to uh, later on when we actually start building our app and this is the area where we'll be able to inspect our code we'll be able to see any errors 
error messages and we'll be able to keep track of uh, different variables and stuff like that. It's basically an area that's going to be very helpful for us when we start uh, writing code and we start troubleshooting our code and things like that. And then at the very top here, this gray strip, the most prominent thing you'll see is this play button. Well, this play button will actually run your project in the simulator. So I'm going to go ahead and just tap that so you can see what happens. And now you can see the stop button is also highlighted. So that will stop your project from running and return you back to the project for editing. So there's my simulator that pops up. And I've, I alluded to this in the um, first video. And this simulator basically mimics an iPhone. So you don't actually need a device to test your app in. Uh, as soon as you click run your project in Xcode, it launches the simulator and it allows you to test your app. So we'll get more into that in the future. To stop your project, you just have to go here and click the stop button. There's a drop down here that lets you select what kind of simulator you want to run your project in. So you can try out your app on different devices. And there's also iOS device. And this is used for when you actually have a device to test on and you have an Apple membership, Apple developer membership to deploy your app on the phone. And then you'll be able to select this option to do so. On this status bar here, it tells you if there are any errors with your project if you run it, uh, among other things. And on the right hand corner right here, there are some buttons just for some different views. So you can toggle, you know, if you need more space, you can toggle the different areas like this. So at its core, that's pretty much what Xcode is split into right here, the file navigator. In the middle, you have your code editor area. And in your in the right hand side, you have the inspector pane or inspector area. On the bottom here, you have the debug area. And at the top here, you have your status bar. And that's kind of remained the core of Xcode for the last few iterations. So don't worry if it looks confusing to you. Just like with any other program or app, the more you use it, the more comfortable you'll feel in it. And when we start building our apps and, and developing apps, we'll be using all of these sections and then you'll really get familiar with all of this stuff. Now there are some finer nuances and shortcuts and stuff like that that you can do with Xcode, but I'm gonna save those for another video later on when it's relevant. And I don't wanna overload you guys. For now, that does it for your tour of Xcode. In the next lesson, we're actually going to explain a little more about the different files in the app project, and we're going to build and run our first project.